Hi, I'm Akshay Bahethi and welcome to the Cafe Rondin Journal Watch where we review certain important and interesting radiology articles. Now, we know that a lot of hospitals in India are nowadays performing screening CTs on patients who are admit, getting admitted or coming to ED to look for COVID-19. How valid is this scientifically, particularly because we know that ACR, STR and other organizations have said that we should ideally not be performing screening CTs in most patients. A recent article published in Radiology, a meta-analysis actually, looked at this in detail and what it finally concluded was that CT scans for primary screening was not beneficial in low prevalence regions due to a substantial rate of false positive. Let's look at this study in a little bit of detail. Now we know that for a diagnostic modality, the most important things we look for are good sensitivity and specificity. What is sensitivity? So if 100 patients of COVID-19 undergo a CT and CT is 95% sensitive, it will detect 95 of those 100 patients. On the other end, what is specificity? If 100 patients who do not have COVID-19 undergo a CT and CT is 95% specific, that will still call 5 of these patients as having COVID-19. In other words, a highly sensitive test will not let something like this happen, while a highly specific test will not let something like this happen. But these are not the only two parameters. We also have to look at positive and negative predictive values. So if a person is called COVID-19 on CT, what is the actual likelihood of the patient really having the disease? That is the PPV of that test. And PPV depends not just on sensitivity and specificity, but also on the prevalence of the disease in that particular population. And this is what this meta-analysis really looked at carefully. So uh, this meta-analysis compared RT-PCR and CT chest in patients who underwent screening by both techniques. It included studies which had at least five patients having COVID-19. These studies had RT-PCR assays which were performed and these were the gold standard. And these were studies in which the diagnostic performance measures like sensitivity and specificity of the RT-PCR and CT were extractable from the data provided on the published article. Now, since RT-PCR was the gold standard, how do we actually compare CT with RT-PCR? So, these were studies in which repeated RT-PCRs were performed. If any of these were positive, then the patient was considered to be positive for COVID-19. If all were negative, then the patient was considered to be negative for COVID-19. Overall, 64 studies were included. 63 of these gave the performance of CT, while 19 gave the performance of RT-PCR. Totally, there were 6,200 odd patients with CTs and around 1,500 patients with RT-PCRs, which were included in the study. Uh, importantly, these studies had a low risk of bias regarding patient selection, etc. So they were pretty good studies. Overall, CT was found to be very sensitive and we all know that very well. So it had a 94% sensitivity for detecting COVID-19. However, the specificity was pretty low. It was only 37% specific for COVID-19. Uh, the sensitivity of RT-PCR was also pretty good. It was 89% and we know that from real-world data it's actually closer to 70%. Uh, these studies found it higher probably because of the multiple RT-PCRs performed. Uh, but look at the PPV. This is the most important factor and the PPV for CT was actually pretty low. It ranged from 1.5% to 30.7% depending on uh, the prevalence in the population. The PPV for RT-PCR on the other was much better. It was between 47.3% to 96.4%. The negative predictive value was almost equally good for both CT and RT-PCR. It was above 95% in both cases. Uh, importantly, what the study showed was that if it's a low prevalence area, that is anything which is having less than 10% prevalence of COVID-19 in that particular region, then the PPV for RT-PCR was actually 10 times higher than that of CT. The PPV of CT was actually less than 10% in these low prevalent countries. Uh, so for example, these are the countries from which the studies were included. And you can see in a country like Taiwan, which has a very low prevalence of COVID-19, the PPV was extremely low. Um, even in countries like Germany or US, for example, where this is sort of the prevalence estimated, I would assume India to be somewhere in this setting, the PPV was pretty low. So what this study concluded was that CT chest for primary screening or diagnosis of COVID would not be beneficial in a low prevalence region 
which would be applicable to India right now because of the substantial rate of false positives and this has a great cascading effect on the healthcare system because all these patients need to be isolated, tested, a lot of extra investigations need to be done, a lot of extra precautions need to be taken for these patients and overall it is not cost effective for our healthcare system nor time effective as well because we need the real COVID-19 patients to get the maximum care rather than worrying about these false positive patients. Thank you. That's all I have for this Cafe Rongan Journal Watch.